Welcome to the advice show, media with the common sense approach. So the Philippine president has been waging a war on drugs in his own country. Since he came to power, a lot of people have been killed in this war on drugs. So the UN and people in the US want to start saying something to the president of the Philippines. Well, you will see a journalist try to come in on his moral high horse from America to tell this president about what he's doing in his own country. And I want you to hear exactly what this man says to this reporter. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. Gun law, sir. It can happen. It, it, ha it happens in America. They're shooting the blacks there. It shows on TV. It shows on TV. What's the difference between America and the Philippines? Nothing. So what is surprising here is surprising to us. We see policemen, they're shooting a black guy there. How many times had it happened in the past? That's why you have the, demonst the violent demonstration. So, would it surprise you and me? Almost the same. One case only, three cases here. So what? It involves the same principle. Say, for every one black there dead, you have about five here. And so... Does it make uh, this world more livable because there is less killing? The, when you shoot <laughs> a black there, dead, what is that? Is that not appalling? When you bomb Syria and Iraq and you kill communities and you kill children and old people and hospital, what is it? And why is it that United States is not doing anything? I do not read Anybody in that stupid body complaining about the stench there of that? Look at the iconic boy uh, that was uh, taken out from the rubble. And he was made to sit in the ambulance, and we saw it. So what's the difference? Life of a criminal, or maybe he was really rubbed out. We cannot discount it. But what do you think the Americans did to the black people there? Is that not rubbing out also? I say, well, it was just uh, one community there, one state of America. <laughs> well, uh, but you have there about ten. So what's the difference? Are we here for the counting or the basic principles of human rights? Almost the same. Okay, thank you, sir. Now, when I heard the video, I watched it. I watched it with a big smile on my face. I was like, yes, put him in his place. Tell him exactly what they do to us in this country. You think the whole world don't see when black people are shot and killed? You think the whole world didn't see the Eric Garner video? The whole world didn't see the Charles Kinsey video? The man had his hands up on the ground. And then you try to go and to other countries like you some sort of moral authority you have lost your position as a moral authority in america because all the killing you doing to the black man and black woman they watching all these videos they watching your reaction they watching your media's reaction how you try to side with those who do the killing and try to demonize the victim so you can't go to nobody else's country and tell them what they should and should not be doing who they should kill and who they should not kill you did that mess to yourself. You heard the man talk about Syria with the little boy. You can't talk no more. You see, one thing about the Internet, it connects us all. We can see everything in real time. There's no way now you can hide when these things are happening to the black man and black woman. The world see it. So when you go wagging your finger at other countries, they can say, oh, no, 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 no. I seen these videos. I seen what you do. Why is your citizens in the street uh, protesting all the time? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? So you got to give an account for that. So before you go and tell somebody else in another part of the world, just remember, they got every right to tell you about yourself and what's going on with the black citizens in your country. Now, what, 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 what the uh, uh, racist is going to say about this one, the black phobics? What you going to say about this one? You gonna complain? What you gonna say? Oh, his country is a hellhole. His country is this. You, oh, you, it's always an excuse. But you ain't got an excuse about it because you should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed because this man is sitting up here and calling you out on your stuff. But it is what it is. Stop killing people. Stop taking pleasure in it. 
Stop justifying it. Let's get along in peace. Let's try to fix our problems and our issues in this country. That's it. No more, no less. But as you say, we still going to have this problem because this hate is taught in their households. And then in their household, they are teach that they're superior. They're better than people and all this other stuff. So this is why this stuff continues. Unfortunately, hit me up in the comments, future commentaries, subscribe.